Hey, Dad, can I have some money? Why should I give you anything? You haven't done sheet all day. My friend, Bobby gets money when he asks for it. He doesn't have to do anything for it. You're such a tight ass. Let me explain. You see, people have to work hard for what they get. If everybody was as lazy as you and your friends, you all wouldn't have a pot to piss in. I don't give a flying fuck about a pot. If I be outside, can I have some money? I'm trying to make a point, Johnny. I work hard to keep your mom and your thankless lit ass in food and clothing. I come home, and you're watching some horse sheet on TV. Hell, it wouldn't surprise me if your mom still has to wipe when you finish in the crapper. Sometimes I get it on my hands. Oh my god. I'm raising a weeble. If all the hardworking people gave their hard-earned money away to people like you, then the hardworking people would get fed up. Mom said when you die that she would buy me any video game I want. I would be sad, but I would really like a new video game. Do you hear what you are saying, you thankless little bastard? If I die, you will be the man of the house. Your mom will be so upset that she will solid support. Maybe she could depend on Uncle Jack. I heard Mom say how hard Uncle Jack is. Let's get back on track. You have to work to make money. If someone is as much of a dumb ass as you, then that person will have to work harder than someone who is smart. You don't have enough brains to stomp sheet in a red hole. Why would I want to do that? I have a mutant for a son. I am saying that because it is a simple task and you would not know how to do it. If you had a choice of working in a bad job or a good job, what would you choose? I'd take a hand job in a heartbeat. Spank the monkey. Spank the monkey. Life is not a bowl of cherries, Johnny. You will have to make some hard decisions. You mean like if I want to text or send an email? Maybe if you came to work with me, you would see how people do things. It might even inspire you to become something more than a fucking pile of worthless goo. When you work you have to set goals. Like how to get in my girlfriend's pants in less than three minutes. It usually takes me a little longer than that. You know, Johnny, you are a dipshit, but I think you are catching on. I guess that is a goal. A real goal is what you strive for. It is something that you will be proud of when you reach it. You mean like blowing your load? Why do I even fucking cry? I am going to sue the doctor who delivered you. He must have dropped you on your head. I guess I need to try harder. Like mom tells Uncle Jack. Harder. Harder. Dad, when you were little like me, what did you do? Well, Johnny, we were poor. We did not even have an indoor toilet. So when you pissed outside did your dad give you money? No, Johnny. We did not have any money. Mom said that you slept with your sister. Was she hot? Johnny. We only had two bedrooms. Well, we have four bedrooms, and I still sleep with my sister. The point is we did not have much. I started working when I was seven years old. I mowed grass and swept floors. My friend, Bobby, is raising grass and sells it for a sheet load of money. Why didn't you sell your grass so you could afford a prostitute instead of chapping Aunt Maggie night after night? Your friend, Bobby will end up in prison where he will be somebody's little bitch. I don't want to go to prison. When you were little how much did you get paid for work? I usually got five dollars for mowing a lawn. I always gave half of it to my family. Not like the beluga head I have for a son. Okay, Dad. I understand. If you give me ten dollars, I will give you five back. I've thought about running you over while you were on your skateboard, but I think it would be easier if you just brought me my pistol so I could blow my fucking head off. Then can I get a video game?